In this video, I'm going to show you how to add WooCommerce product tabs to the home page of your online store. With this, you'll be able to display featured products, best selling products, sale products, or any kind of products you want. So, if you want to learn how to add product tabs to the home page of your online store, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. This is the website where I want to add my product tabs to. To do that, I click on Edit with Elementor. Inside the Elementor editor, I go to the particular section where I want to add my product tabs. In this case, I want to add it immediately under the hero section. So I hover on the next section below the hero section and I click on the plus icon right here. With this, I'll be given the opportunity to add a new section. I click on add new section and I'm going to go ahead and use a single column section. Before I move forward, I want to add a padding at top and at bottom. The section is still selected. I go over to advanced. I unlink the values under pattern, top I enter 100 and then bottom I enter 100 as well. Next I go over to widgets and I'm going to go ahead and add in a heading widget. I call it top products and I'm going to go ahead and center it. Next I go over to widgets and I set for tab. I have tabs widget right here. I drag it and drop it under my title. By default, I'll be presented with two tabs. Meanwhile, I need three tabs, so I go ahead and duplicate any of this, or I can easily add a new item from here. So if I close this up from here, I can add a new item. Either way, it will take me to the same place. Either way, I'll achieve the same results. Now, the next thing I do is go ahead and rename my tabs. So I click on the first one and I change the name from here. So I call this one featured so that I display my featured products in the first tab. I click on it to collapse it. The next one, I click on it and I change the name. I call this one best selling. And finally, the third one, I change the name from here and I call it sale. Perfect. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up, it does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. Alright, let's continue. Now that I have all my tabs in place, I need to get the short codes that will populate the various products. So to get the short codes, I go to this page, that is WooCommerce short codes. I will leave a link to this page in the description down below, you can go ahead and check it out. On this page, you want to scroll to example product scenarios and this is where you can get the various scenarios. So the first one, I'm looking for featured products. So I scroll to featured product, that is scenario 2. What I need to do is simply go ahead and copy this short code. And I come back to Elementor, I click on the featured products tab. Take note, in the text editor, you will present it with visual and text. You need to click on text, then go ahead and remove whatever you have in here and then paste in the short code. So what this short code will do is that it will show you the featured products and the number of products to display is 4 and it will present it in two columns. So if you don't want to see these values, you can go ahead and change them. For the product limits, I leave it as 4. The number of columns, I want to make it 4 as well. So I remove the 2 here and I enter 4. Perfect. Don't worry about the display yet. The products will be displayed when we visit the page. One thing you should take notice of is that you need to set some of the products on your website as featured. Let me show you how we can achieve that. To do that, I go to the back end of my website, then I go over to products. I have already set some of my product as featured. So you see that this star here is filled, meaning this particular product right here is a featured product. So if I go down, you see that I have more featured products. 
So to set a particular product as featured, all what you need to do is click on the star beside that particular product. So I click on the star right here and the page will reload and you now see that this product is a featured product. So I go back to Elementor and the feature section is done. I click on it to collapse it. Next, I go to best selling. Then I go over to WooCommerce shortcodes. And I search for best selling products, which is scenario three. So I just go ahead and select this shortcode, copy it, come back to Elementor. I go to text and I take off this. Then I go ahead and paste in the shortcode. I want to keep the product limits and columns consistent. So I change this from three to four. And the number of columns, I change it to four as well. Awesome. And finally, we have the sale product. I collapse this and I expand this. I go to WooCommerce shortcodes and I set for sale products. Thing is on top. That is the first one. So I just go ahead and grab this code. Go back to Elementor. I go to text, take off this, and I go ahead and paste in the short code. Already, my product limit is four, and the number of columns is four. Everything is set. I can collapse this. Next, you can work on the position of the tabs. At the moment, it is set to horizontal. You can choose vertical if you want, but I will keep it as horizontal. I can also set the alignment from start, center end and also justify it whichever way you want i'll keep mine as center then i go ahead and update the page now let's take a look going down see that i have my product tabs so this is the featured products best selling products and then sale product perfect I only have two products as my sale products. It doesn't really matter. The most important thing is how they will be displayed. Awesome. I don't need this border right here. I can take it off by going back to Elementor. I go over to style. First is border width. What I need to do is make it zero and the border will go off. I can also change the color of the title. I choose color three. To match with the colors of my website, the active color, maybe I want to make it this green so that the active color will stand out. Awesome. This is all what I want to do. I go ahead and save the changes. Let's take a look. Going down. Perfect. This is cool. I like it. Maybe I can change the background color to the entire section. So I go back to Elementor and I click on edit section right here. I go over to style and the background type, I choose classic and I'm going to go ahead and use white. So with this, the product will stand out a bit. Awesome. Then I go ahead and update the page. Let's take a look. This is now looking clean and neat. Awesome. So that's it on how to add product tabs to display featured, best selling and sale products. Now, if you want to add product grid to the homepage of your website like this, I'll leave a link to a video in the description down below that will walk you through step by step as to how you can achieve this. All right, guys, I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one.